So I'm trying this digital detox where I've basically just locked my phone up for a week. It's in my drawer at home and I'm not touching it. By doing the digital detox, I wanted to see if I could be more productive in everyday life rather than just scrolling through and wasting my time looking at news feeds on all these different platforms. Me and a friend have decided to go bowling one night. When I usually walk the dog, I'll have my headphones in and listen to a podcast or some music or anything like that while I'm wandering along. But because I didn't have my phone, I didn't have this. So it was good to actually spend a bit more time throwing the frisbee for Evie. By not having my phone, I could give Evie a bit more attention on the walks. I've been sticking to my normal routine and I've just noticed that I've not been distracted as much by my phone. You know, I can actually watch an episode with no distractions. It's good to, you know, give 100% attention to something and really focus. As you can see, me and Jess are having some quality time together watching TV, interacting with one another. And the main thing with that is conversation with other people. I've been guilty of, we probably all have, of maybe having a conversation with someone and at the same time going through your phone, reading messages, blah, blah, blah. I'm not actually giving that full attention and listening to what they have to say. So that's something that I'm going to be taking away from it. So far on my night in, we'd been watching TV and I wanted to do something a bit more productive and I needed to stay positive during this challenge. So I decided to read my favorite book, the little book of positivity, just to get me through this hard time. With me being cooped up indoors, I wanted to be outside and reconnect with the world, physically and mentally. I wanted to find balance between my mind, body and soul. So I went out with the dog, went for a little run, went on the outdoor gym, really focused on myself, trying my best to keep me physically fit and mentally fit without the distractions of a phone. I've never meditated. I thought now was a better time than any. My goal was to go beyond the mind and experience our essential nature in search of peace, happiness and bliss. Finding that balance between the mind, body and soul. During my 30 seconds of meditation, God spoke to me. They said, be one with nature and connect on a deeper level. Then climb a tree and be closer to me and I shall give you the answers you're seeking. As I got higher and higher in the tree, I got closer and closer to God. He said, remember who you are and what you did before you had a phone and before social media was around. As I climbed higher and higher in the tree, God spoke to me again and said, Graham, go to the city school, specifically the school field, and play in the park, and you'll seek your answers. I wanted to come up onto the old city school field. I couldn't get this way, because all that's overgrown. So that's my mom's house behind that bush and that tree there, which it wasn't like at all five years ago, 10 years ago, God knows how long. And then to top it off, after having to come the long way round, introduced to this perimeter fence around the field. Absolutely mad. When did that come up? Can anyone tell me? No idea. This is my little route to school. 
through the garden, across the field, up to the old city school. But access denied. Uh, really is a prison now. So it's turned into a prison. One of the things I used to love doing was drawing and I haven't drawn in a long time. So that's what I did. I thought I'd be productive and revisit something I haven't done for, for decades. Now my artwork is a bit rusty from when I did last draw in year nine or year 10 or whenever it was. The first drawing I did was really rubbish. I mean, this was it. So I gave it another go. While I was at my old school, I remember we used to go play on the park. That was one thing we used to do as kids all the time. We used to just wander up the field, play on the park, maybe drink a few tinnies or something. Well, that's what you do when it's the last day of school. There's tradition as well at like the city school, every lunchtime. While I was in my state of dizziness, I realised what the lesson God was trying to teach me. It was clear the journey and experience was the lesson. Playing on the park and getting dizzy isn't in and out. Jessica even had her own religious experience as she was starting to speak in tongues. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> 